Time to go back to Chip and Joanna Gaines. They started the Magnolia Business Empire down in Texas, and Lara is in Waco with them right now. George, say it with me, shiplap, baby. <laughs> Thank you for that, Joanna Gaines. We are live this morning from the silos in Waco, Texas, with Chip and Joe Gaines. It is like a home and design field of dreams, really. It now attracts as many visitors as the Alamo. Take a look at this empire. Are y'all ready to see your fixer-upper? They're the shiplap-loving duo who aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. Raise your hand if you want to break some stuff. Chip and Joanna Gaines became household names in their breakout series, Fixer Upper. Welcome home. For five seasons, Chip's love of demo, Joe's taste for design, and their close-knit family catapulted them to the top. Fixer Upper garnering nearly 17 million viewers each week at the height of its popularity. Today's demo day, all right? Let's go get to this. Let's just... The powerhouse couple expanding their Magnolia home and lifestyle brand nationally into retail stores, books, magazines, and transforming their hometown of Waco, Texas into this. Welcome to the silos. 600 employees, a full complex including Magnolia Table, Magnolia Homes, and Magnolia Press. It is a destination over 1.5 million people from all over the world have come to see and shop at. And now it's GMA's turn to head to the silos. And Chip and Joanna's empire continues to grow with their own Magnolia television network with over two dozen new shows. With stars including chef Andrew Zimmern, Clint Harp, and of course, Chip and Joe. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so fun, congratulations. It is a huge day and a long time coming. Yes. Magnolia network launches today and I know it was supposed to launch October 2020 and Chip you've been honest you thought oh wow maybe this is just the worst timing yeah. to launch a network and now uh, it was fun yesterday you both were saying no it's actually perfect timing I think looking back we couldn't have planned it any better I think even that it's January yeah it's the new, new year. year just the I think the message of hope and inspiration these storytellers and the stories that they're telling I mean I just think the world's ready for that kind of beauty to Seems be seen. Seems like yeah. we need this content at such a time as this. Yeah. You know, it's just like a new year. I think people are feeling optimistic about this new year. I feel like we felt that way a little bit about last year and then quickly well, reevaluated. Yeah. 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 But I really feel hopeful and optimistic, and I really feel like this message is going to uh, fuel those thoughts. And 26 original shows. How involved were you guys in choosing these shows? Yeah, I mean, super involved. I think that was my favorite part of the process was the curation getting to dream up like who do we want to do shows with what do the shows want to be about and at the end of the day it was really just finding people that were doing the work that they love doing already and we had to talk them into doing a television <laughs> show so I think now as we step back and look at all these shows we couldn't be prouder of the stories and the storytellers and even looking at the tapestries it's now started to like really come yes. together it's like we would have never been able to predict this mm -hmm. a couple of years back I mean it's like as the pieces of the puzzle started to come together it's like something else was leading all this yeah, in some ways, sure. you know, and now to see it even from our perspective, it's like, who would have thunk it? You yeah. Know? Forbes magazine said that there's a, a running theme, home, warmth, and authenticity mm -hmm. through all of these shows. That's got to feel great to hear. I think, I think the biggest thing that I've noticed with all of our storytellers is their vulnerability. They're putting themselves out there. They're yeah. saying, hey, we love what we do. We don't know if we're good for TV. That's not really <laughs> the point. It's like we want to watch yeah. people do the work that they were called to do. Sure. And when you do that, you, you leave completely inspired. And part of us have always been so interested in the idea of like it, once you've seen the team win the national championship, you know, the post uh, preview of that. But I wanted to see like it's almost like this uh, Michael Jordan documentary that's become so popular. It's like the idea that as it was unfolding, these things were occurring. And mm -hmm. it's just like so many of our talent are like putting themselves out in that way. You well, don't what? know how it's going to end, you know. One of those talents yourselves. I'm happy, so happy. <laughs> Fixer Upper is back. Woo! You guys are doing brand new shows. Fixer you were Upper nice Upper, enough yesterday. Home. Yeah, it's it's 
I love what you're doing. You're, it's the biggest project you've ever oh. undertaken. You brought us along yesterday. Mm -hmm. Who knew there was a castle in Waco, Texas? <laughs> Chip has wanted this castle for so many years. The, yeah. the joke is that, I mean, I, I remember 20 years ago, every time he'd turn in an offer, I mean, it was so low because this, this was a big project, but he couldn't get this castle. Out of my head. Yeah. yeah. And I would say a couple years ago, he surprised me uh, with the castle. So this has been a project that we've been working on for quite some time. Just all the planning and now we're finally Joe in. Joe loves surprises. She loves jet <laughs> skis. She, she loves <laughs> weed eaters and chainsaws. Yes. She loves castles, or, yeah. it turns out. Yeah. I mean, these things are uh, surprises of a lifetime, and Joe was always uh, very tearful, very emotional as these surprises start unfolding. Learning it's to a, roll with it. Yeah. Uh, well, roll speaking of rolling with it, you, you guys met uh, when, when Chip came into your dad's tire yeah. store, and a love story was born. Five kids later, this empire, this mm. incredible empire in the middle of Waco uh, has, has blossomed. Um, we thought we'd play a little game with you. Yeah. You all ready? Um, Hold on a second. Empire? Uh -huh. We own a castle. Uh -huh. She referred to us as network executives yeah. Yeah. earlier. I, this is You're great gonna... for the self-esteem. <laughs> I feel like my head is about to explode. If you could stay with us a couple I more weeks, I'd really to. appreciate that. I am <laughs> loving every minute of this. But wait for this game to finish before you decide. Okay. All right, before so we're calling this, let's gain some insight. All right, Ooh, so I, like uh, I ask a question, you point to who fits best. Okay. Okay, who's the bigger night owl? Oh. Okay, who's grumpier in the morning? <laughs> oh, all right, two for two. Who flubs more of their lines on camera? I would say we're equally I mean, bad at I this. I don't really talk a ton, so yeah. you well, that's talk true. all the that's time. True. So all right, all right, him. fair enough, fair enough. Who's the bigger social butterfly? Oh. Uh, who's more stubborn? Oh, you, I mean, you guys are nailing it. Who's the better dancer? Show us, oh, Chip, show us. We're both bad at dancing. But I'm the better of the worst, I no, think. That's true, that's yeah, true, 100%. I can she, kind yeah, of go. Well, like in a choreographed cheerleading kind of way, but yeah. once rhythm gets involved, yeah. Joe and I really fall apart. Chip has like one body part that moves and it's and his it's ankle. And it's my ankle. It's just like twist. Oddly. It's and like. It's, you can't dance with and them. And when you see just, John Travolta do it you, along you with the yeah. uh, the peace sign, it's cool. But when you see me do it all it's by weird. myself in a corner, it's awkward. <laughs> I saw a video of you roller skating. Oh, That's I a hidden talent. I love roller skating. Might there be a roller skating rink here we just in the silos? Some of this furniture That's true. And make this our own roller. All right. right here. Yeah. Hey guys. Uh, <laughs> We're coming back. We're going to cook with Andrew Zimmern, yes. one of your talents. What a stuff. Stay with us. Everybody Magnolia Network launches today. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.